Welcome to the weekend edition of the King Mo Show. If you see a flickering light over to this side, it's because it's actually dusk and and my my porch light with the sensor keeps flicking off and on. But anyways, that's what not, we're not here to talk about. Uh, I was at the liquor store today picking up some tequila tres agave, new one I tried. And as I was walking out, I saw something and I kept going back and forth. It, at uh, Wine Works, you can buy just individual cans or you could buy like the six pack or, or whatever. And I saw something, I'm really nervous about it because it's a hard seltzer. And I, I mean, hard seltzers, they pretty much suck. But this is Great Lakes Rocket Pop. Great Lakes, like I tried a bunch of the peach teas. They weren't good, but great. see, there it goes. Great Lakes, it was good. So I, I went out on a limb and I bought the whole, I bought the six pack, um, 11 bucks, about $2 a can. If I don't like them, I'll be offering them to people. Um, so like and subscribe and, or like and comment and maybe I'll give you one. Anyways, so Rocket Pop, 5% uh, alcohol by volume. And I did a, like one of these, or I did some of this stuff last year and you need a baseline of what you're gonna compare it to. So through Movie Magic, we are going to compare it to this Rocket Pop that has been in my freezer since last summer. And it's, it's iced over and it's deformed. I have, okay, actually you kind of taste good. So you got your cherry, I think blueberry, and lime in the middle. I think they're pretty good. Even though it's a year old. Okay, I got the flavors. I don't know how you get that with the can. Same issue I had last year. But through Movie Magic, we're gonna make this disappear again. Okay, here we go. Now, on, on, the, on the box, yeah, as I've shaken it up now, so that wasn't the best idea. It says recommended glassware, something like this. And for pairings, it says hot dogs, vanilla ice cream, or funnel cake. I don't have any of those. So I'm going to pair it with nothing. I'm just going to drink it. And I mean, the can does look cool. It, it does look cool. I mean, it's got the red, white, and blue. It's all patriotic. I should have put on my one of my patriotic red white and blue shirts so the glass what color do you think it's going to be i'd love to see it in blue or red i feel it's just going to be clear um kind of a little pinkish yeah it's like uh, a light pink like a rosé a sparkling rosé champagne From the aromas, maybe maybe a little cherry, like a, a cherry limeade, which would be a good start. So I did buy this today, and it's only been in the uh, refrigerator for about I don't know two and a, two hours, two and a half hours. I thought it'd be colder, and it's not really that cold. But you're kind of taking this in balance here. It's not bad. It um it definitely has more flavor than a lot of the hard seltzers I've tried. Um, I would call it a cherry limeade. I don't really pick up any blueberry, but again, when you have all that many flavors mixed together, I think it's hard to pick up on getting all three distinct ones. But I'll try her one more time. I wouldn't buy it again, but I'm not gonna just automatically give them all away. So, we'll take that for that. It's pretty good. Um, so, maybe someone does like a phenomenal job or I don't know, does something worthwhile, memorable, and you've commented below, I'll give you one. So, enjoy your weekend. Like, share, subscribe. Cheers.